I've heard that what happens is that whenever they get hit, they spill everything that... It's kind of almost a truth serum that they start to tell you everything that you don't know about them. Like, he said that he was gay and he finally admitted it. I know. Well... well I don't want to marry him if he's going to keep secrets from me. I mean... Yes, especially it's true. that one. So... It's him being attacked really, really affected you right now. It did. It made him tell us secrets. It made me wonder, why did I marry this man? And, you know, he got, he should have noticed at night not to go out in stormy weather. I know. I mean, people here are pretty stupid. But, <laughs> uh, just, are you currently dating anyone right now at all? No. I just have my daughter with me. Well, well, here, if you ever need to talk, here's, here's my card right here. Alright, so, uh, well, thank you for the interview. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it again? Huh? What was your name again? I forgot. Arabella Morse. Arabella Morse. Okay, thank you. Uh huh, bye bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, down to Houston again to find out where this woman lives. And of course I found her. She was on 39 Pacific Street. Just the place. In the same neighborhood where that same man, Brandon Morris, was attacked. Jessica. That's all she gave us. She's a psychic. The one person that I could that I could come to to find out all these occurrences. She herself has been attacked, and many people around her. She spends most of her time on the computer trying to find out more information on this creature. So I asked if I could have an interview with her, just to find out more. Well, hi, um... Hi, I'm Brendan. I'm Brendan Moore, and I'm from America Undercover, HBO America Undercover, for the the Lightning Bigfoot Zeus thing. Yeah, hi. Okay, uh... Now, I'll just kind of a quick interview with you. Um... I came to you... Because I've heard around here that you yourself have been attacked by many, I mean, sorry, you yourself have been attacked yourself, and many other people around you have been attacked by this monster. And since then you've been finding out information, more information on this creature, is that correct? Alright, um, now I just want to ask you, uh, what are some more interesting things do you have for us that, like what is it that you found? Oh, I get it. Kind of like albinos. Well, um, what did it? What are some interesting things that other interesting things that you have found out yourself? That find have you found out any more locations where this creature might be? In the woods, right by my house. In the woods. Really. Um. That's why I like to look at them at night. So, uh, do you? So since this attack, do you never carry around meat and silver at the same time? They attract monsters and lightning at the same time? Well, Alright, that's good. Um, now tell me, what's your bra size? What? I'm sorry, uh, now, I hear that you have a daughter too, that she herself has had an occurrence with this before, and she's the youngest by far, right? And what's her name again? Shelby. Shelby. All right, uh, Shelby. Well, I don't think I could get an interview with her, could I? No way. No way. All right. Well, uh, do you have a do you have a uh, a husband at all? He's dead. He's dead. Anyone? Do you have anyone else here living with you at all? A dog. A dog. Yes. All right. Um, have they had any occurrences or? Are they sprouting fur anywhere? And in unusual places? At night they whine and go under my bed. Really? Yes, really. Now, what what are some things that you might give us? Now this last question. What are some what is some advice that you might give to us to steer clear from this creature? Don't go out at night. Don't go out at Especially night. Especially by the woods. And if you live by the woods, I 
it's just a will. Hmm. Yes. Alright, um, well, I guess that's all the time that I need for you right now. So, here, uh, Brendan Morgan from Al. <laughs> It has been determined that 98% of attacks that occur when there is some sort of lightning or thunderstorm. The myth of Bigfoot has been determined as well. It was only a 45-year-old man out in the woods trying to find his clothes, and someone just happened to have a camera and take a snapshot of the man, thinking that it was a beastly creature given the name of Bigfoot. So, the Loch Ness Monster, also called Nessie, has been discovered as the same man skinny dipping in a giant lake and coming up for some air and the same douchebag that took the Bigfoot shot took that same one in the same place. What an idiot. But now another myth has crossed paths with us with the simple name of the Zeus Bigfoot Lightning which most people are beginning to realize even in their own backyards during a violent thunderstorm. This is an artist's description of the beast. 8% of these victims are African American and Hispanic. Why? Well, modern science cannot explain the real reason. Oh, and I just got paid $100 more to say that on the documentary. 23% of these victims are Christian whites, thinking that these storms are a sign of Jesus rewriting, but fortunately, they are not. And finally, 100% of the victims are known as grass and orlands. The fronts of houses and in wild, open places of earth, and then start horrible fires that cannot be put out by five gay white men alone. That's about the time that I decided that I should get an interview with the main victims. As you've heard before, a lot of them are someone that really don't get affected by what's happened to them. And then I had to get an interview with them. How are you doing? I'm Brendan Moore. Um, I'm from HBO's uh, America Undercover. Um, Brendan Moore here again. Now, I just... I needed to get an interview, interview with you, and thank you for letting me. But I just wanted to ask you a few questions, alright? So, uh, how did it affect you, being attacked so much? by this beast. I mean, how did that affect you mentally? So, uh, what else? Well, how, how did you not, how are you still this way? I mean, you look fine. You look as lively as ever. You look like you've been doing well in these past years. How, how did you come out of this tragedy just so fine? Now, uh, did you ever, did you ever get over it? Did you ever obsess over the fact that you were attacked by this thing? Does, what, I, what I'm really asking is just that, did it ever plunge you into some sort of weird obsession of it? Okay, that's good, that's good, that's really good. Alright, now, I'm sorry to eat up your time like this. I know how you need to be tended to. So, uh, I, the last question is, do you have any more information that could, like, prevent these attacks for us? Do you have any information that could help us in our hunt for it to try and stop it? Okay, that's really good. Really good. Okay, well, I just want to thank you again. All right, Brendan Moore from HBO's American Undercover. Wild myths that might be true. We're hunting the uh, the Zeus Bigfoot Lightning. All right, so thank you, thank you very much. And your name was what? Monkey Grass. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and here. Hold on. If you ever, if you ever want to talk, give me a call. So now. We're going to go hunt this thing. We now have enough information to go and try and find this beast. I have to round up a team of experts to try and find these. So what I like to call idiots. Let's go hunt. <laughs>